This video is going to go over starting an adult daycare service. Um, basically, there are some steps that you would go through to uh, set that up. Also, there are different types of adult daycare services. Uh, there's a social model where you attend to the social needs of uh, the adults. Uh, there's a medical model, and there's also a therapy model. Uh, it might not be just uh, older folks that you're dealing with. Uh, for example, if there was someone in a car accident, they might need the services of adult daycare. Also, depending on the Medicaid plan that you're working with, uh, you would probably get a Medicaid waiver. Um, that's not an entitlement. In other words, you're, you're not guaranteed to, to get that, but uh, you can apply for that. Uh, basically, what's happening there is you're showing Medicaid, hey, I'm looking for an alternate way uh, to service these needs uh, from a patient who could use, uh, for example, nursing home help, but instead uh, we found a lower cost option, and here's what it looks like, and that's where the waiver comes from. So you register with your Medicaid plan. Uh, I'll also include a link at the end of this um, video uh, and share some more details, but uh, you'll probably find those details by going online and looking for your state Medicaid. It might be for the Department of Aging or whatever department the Medicaid plan is using. Also know that um, in many scenarios, probably most of the scenarios when adult daycare is being provided, uh, they're billing the patient and not really the Medicaid because uh, with adult daycare, um, you might have 20 to 40 different adults in one facility, for example, uh, and each of those uh, are going to be charged personally uh, anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000, in some, some cases $3,000 a day, depending on you know what their income level is. Uh, if you're going to build a, me a Medicaid plan for, like, for example, a per diem, uh, that varies from state to state, um, but that could be anywhere from 45 to 60 or $70 a day. Most of them are around 45 $50 a day. So, you know, if you do the math, that's like $250 a week versus uh, the model where they're just charging the patient, uh, which might be four times that or more, eight times that, you know. Uh, but I think um, in consideration of all of the stay-at-home mandates that we've had, uh, where there are opportunities, I think, uh, for this model. It might actually be a viable um, opportunity. So uh, let me uh, continue uh, with the details here. If you have any questions, you can uh, give us a call or send us an email. Uh, this video is going to go over how to set up uh, the billing so you can get paid uh, if you choose to bill Medicaid uh, for adult daycare services. So you register with Medicaid. Uh, you contact us, and we get you the software. Uh, patient entry is very easy. I'll show you that. And then you start sending your claim request, and we convert that to 837 claims and send those on to your state Medicaid. Um, and, and that's really uh, just uh, that simple. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the software program that we're using uh, to do that. And this is the software program here. Basically, you enter patient information. Uh, it's divided into three separate sections. There's a patient segment section, and then an adult daycare provider section, and then um, your, your payer information. Uh, if I was going to add a new patient, for example, uh, I would put in uh, the Medicaid number uh, that was given to me by Medicaid, for example. Uh, if I have a unique ID for the patient, uh, I might enter that in there. I want to use capital letters. I'm just going to use generic information here. So, Now, you'll notice there are green boxes here. What I've done is that I have uh, specified those fields that are mandatory, and uh, so you need to fill them in. So you need some kind of a date, a signature date, or Medicaid eligibility begin date, for example, and you'll put that in there. I use this re reserved word range bill uh, to indicate that this patient is to be billed automatically um, each week. So when you're entering this patient in, you're going to put in all that information, uh, EIN or SSN, depending on you know, the provider. Uh, and then again, I'm just going to use generic names here. And there's a section for diagnosis codes. I've included some diagnosis codes here which are generic. Uh, use whatever is applicable for you uh, from your ICD-10 code sets. Um, also, I've included uh, an enrollment status, and uh, this is automatically filled in uh, whenever you create a new patient. If you have left something out, for example, and you go to save the record, you might get an error message. You must include the number of visits scheduled. So if you miss something, there are some light edits. Usually with daycare services, it's between two and five days. Uh, I don't know of anyone who does just one day, so you need to put that in there, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Also. Uh, if your Medicaid plan allows it, um, you, know, you can also enroll with an A34, and this software will help you do that as well. So uh, I'm going to save this patient record, and then I'm going to return here, and I'm going to show you enrollment really quick. It's, it's actually very, very easy. You just press the button, and that's it. If you look at, for example, the uh, transaction, this is an A34, and it just created the enrollment. Um, 
for me. It was just that easy and that quick. Um, if you look at another day here, I enrolled five on that day. If I look at that, you can see that there, it's a bigger file. So that's it. It's uh, it's just very very easy to do that. And uh, actually, performing the billing is is very easy as well. You're going to like this. Uh, let's just say, for example, you're done with your week and you've got you know 200 patients and you want to bill for them. Let's say I'm going to do June 1st to say June 7th. Then I'm going to put in the from and to date. I'm going to use a CPT code of S5140 now. That's actually a per diem. I use the CPT code that is relevant for you. And um, you just basically press a button and you're done. That's it. Uh, this simple software really makes it very, very easy for you to, to create this request. And, and here is the request that you just created. I'm going to edit it. Uh, it has um, an XML file that goes over you know, your billing provider information and your subscriber information and your payer information. Um, and it also goes over, for example, um, your line charges and procedure codes and diagnosis codes. So it's, uh, it, it's all there. And uh, you can use this to, to actually create the, the request for the 837 claim. If you'll send this to uh, us at Remora Bay Company, we, convert, we will convert that into an 837 and send it on to the payer. Now, that's pretty simple. Um, so, you know, this is really um, just a very quick overview on what, you know, it, it would take to, to set up a, an adult daycare service. Um, I went online and looked up, for example, uh, what it would look like in Colorado, for example. I think uh, the, the YouTube person that I work with was actually working for Medicaid uh, Massachusetts. Um, when I jumped online, I looked on uh, the site for Colorado for adult daycare services, and they, they went over the details of what it takes for a Medicaid waiver, uh, and they give you a nice link here. If you were to follow this link, they would uh, they would guide you to the probably the district or county you know, where... Uh, your adult daycare services would be registered and, and you'd set up from there. Uh, then when you were looking to actually um, set up some kind of service, like for billing services, uh, then you give us a call and then we would help you set that up. So it's, it's really just that simple. And so, uh, you know, we would like to know if you have any other questions or comments, if you need help. Uh, we've got uh, probably some of the most knowledgeable staff on HIPAA EDI billing right here at Remora Bay. You won't find anyone that knows more about this stuff, so uh, I'm sure we can help you out. Uh, thanks again for watching the video, and uh, you know, leave some comments uh, if you have any questions. Thanks now.